What are you going to make though with what you've brought back? Well, I thought I'd do something creative with it. Um, it is like broccoli in, in a way. It's like a broccoli and a cauliflower in that sense. So I thought I'd do something. What, that Romanesco, the one yeah, that Yeah, the Romanesco. It's, it's really beautiful. The patterns, it's just like, you know, gorgeous natural patterns. It's just amazing what nature can deliver. Um, so I'm going to do Buddha's Delight. Um, it's essentially a stir fry and, um, and you'll see. It's, it's, huh? it's simple, but I hope you'll like it. Um, to start my dish, stage one, I've got here some stock and it's bubbling away. And in, in it, it's got some Chinese mushrooms, some Chinese leaf and spring onions. I'm just going to make another one here. So basically what you do, into hot water, I've just got some simple veg stock powder, or right. bouillon, in that goes. Um, some star anise, which is really useful. It's um, really fragrant and really aromatic and used to make a lot of Asian stocks or Chinese stocks. Right. Then, of course, some sweetness. I've got some spring onions all chopped up. So all they oh, go those in are going there. in the different yeah. one. So what, the, these mushrooms, are how, how long are these mushrooms going to cook then? Um, for about 20 minutes, basically, just to fuse all the flavours together. And I've got a whole bowl here. I've got two types. I've got the Chinese woodia mushrooms. They just all go in whole like that. It's right. just to release their sort of earthy aroma. And, um, and then obviously we've also got the shiitake mushrooms as well. So it all goes in, basically. And so then, why have you got those mushrooms on there bubbling and those mushrooms on? Oh, no, I just want to show you what goes into the stock ingredients. Oh, so I basically see. that pot okay. is How basically you this pot now that's what? simmering away and it's cooked I down. See. And this okay. stock is going to taste lovely and sweet. Lovely. Yeah, now to this in here, I'm going to basically just plunge in the whole Romanesco. Oh, exciting. Basically, yes. So it all goes like in. Like a headdress. So, it, it cooks down <laughs> and it's just like what I'm going to do is cook it for about three minutes to blanch the whole thing and then I'll show you you can come back later what I do with it all right how long <laughs> by the way how long was that stock how long is it from there this, to that uh, 20 minutes 20 minutes yeah, just you, infuse those flavors could you use um, just water instead of using the bouillon could you add some homemade vegetable stock or something yes you like can that? add absolutely if you've got homemade vegetable stock you can add to mm. that it'll taste even more intense but this is quick easy home cooking you know mm. whatever you me. have in your store cupboard lovely <laughs> Welcome back to Market Kitchen Big Adventure, where Matt and Ching are showcasing some of the best produce from Kent in delectable dishes. Uh, Matt, you're doing a hair ragu. I How's am. it going? It's going very well, thank you. Lovely. And meanwhile, over here, we've got yeah. Buddha's Delight Buddha's with delight. a difference. If I can get the delight out of the pot. <laughs> the enormous Klingon head. Yeah, exactly. That's just been blanched. <laughs> um, that's been blanched in the stock. Um, it's got some Chinese leaf, some woodier mushrooms, um, some star anise and some spring onions. So it's got lots of delicious flavours going smells. on in there. Fantastic. Yeah, and we will serve that, but um, strained as a broth. Okay. But to continue on right. the journey of Buddhist delight, I've got here some carrots, which I've chopped, and some baby corn, and then some shiitake mushrooms. More shiitake mushrooms. Yes. So the rest of my ingredients, I've got the mange to the bean sprouts, some tofu, which is just Lovely. marinated tofu, and um, some you corn flour. You could just use that nice fresh exactly. tofu as well. Exactly. You? Right. So we want to get this wok nice and hot, and you can tell it's smoking, so you know it's ready. Then in with some groundnut oil or vegetable oil. Right. Give that a swirl. And not a huge amount. Not a huge amount, just a little bit. First, we fry the carrots. Oh. So just. In I'll that just move a bit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did it get you? <laughs> That's all right. I've got other hands. a bit like that. <laughs> and then in with the baby corn as well. I like my carrots quite crunchy, so I'm not going to cook them too long. It's just a simple vegetarian stir fry, really. Yeah. Gee, what and I want to know is how you do that tossing thing, which is just so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to be able to do it. And when Come I do it, it's you all can good. You can do it. Come over here. <laughs> All vegetables in. Yeah. Oh, okay, I've got like so many oh. things. Oh my goodness. Everything okay. in. So what do I do? What do I do? Everything. Forward? Toss. Yeah, forward. Forward? And what do you want to do with the enormous alien head? I know, the big enormous alien head, while it's just cooling here, so it's okay to the touch, I'm just going to remove some of the florets. And basically, can you see, I just slice around it like that to get the flowers. 
And then I chop that bit off. I'll eat that bit, leave that bit for me. And this bit is going to go in the center, like that. I put in some light soy sauce, a little bit of dark soy sauce, some sesame oil, mm -hmm. and some oyster sauce. So right. it all goes in, toss it together. Ooh. Whoops. That's okay. And then a little bit of ground white pepper, the seasoning. Right. Wow. And then we're going to thicken it with some corn flour. But first, the bean sprouts. So it's a real Buddha's delight because you've got all the vegetables in. Right. And you said thicken it. Thicken, thicken it. Yes, I'm just going to thicken. There's a little bit of liquid, oh, the liquid at, at the, the base. And I'm going to thicken it with a little bit of corn flour, which is just corn flour plus water. Right. Cold water. You need to mix that all in well. And then just gently toss it together like that. Aha, uh -huh, that's how you thicken up the sauce. And it adds a gloss. And the corn flour just combines all those flavours together. Right. So that's a good tip. That's a very good tip. It's a really I'm good tip. I have never that. ever used corn okay. flour in a stir fry, ever. So I'm ready to plate. So I'm just going to dress. And this is going to be eaten by everybody. Is it this one giant? Some spring onions. So it's got lots of delicious flavours going smells. on in there. Fantastic. Yeah, and we will serve that, but um, strained as a broth. Okay. But to continue on right. the journey of Buddha's Delight, I've got here some carrots, which I've chopped, and some baby corn, and then some shiitake mushrooms. More shiitake mushrooms. Yes. So the rest of my ingredients, I've got the mange to the bean sprouts, some tofu, which is just Lovely. marinated tofu, and um, some cornflour. You corn could just flour, use that usual. nice fresh exactly. tofu as well. Exactly. Right. So we want to get this wok nice and hot, and you can tell it's smoking. So you know it's ready. Then in with some groundnut oil or vegetable oil. Right. Give that a swirl. And not a huge amount. Not a huge amount, just a little bit. First we fry the carrots. Oh. So just in I'll that just move a bit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Does it get you? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, I've got other hands. a bit like that. <laughs> and then in with the baby corn as well. I like my carrots quite crunchy, so I'm not going to cook them too long. It's just a simple vegetarian stir fry, really. Yeah. Jean, what and I want to know is how you do that tossing thing, which is just so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to be able to do it. And when Come I here. do it, it's you all can do it. You can do it. Come over here. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, no. It's all in the wrist action. All vegetables <laughs> in. Okay, I've got like so many things. Oh, my goodness. Two. Everything. Okay. So what do I do? What do I do? Everything. Forward? Toss. Yeah, forward. <laughs> forward. Like Wonderful. <laughs> okay, so basically all the ingredients in, some stock. And what are you going to do with the enormous alien head? I know, the big enormous alien head, while it's just cooling here, so it's okay to the touch, I'm just going to remove some of the florets and Asian stocks or Chinese stocks. Right. Then of course some sweetness, I've got some spring onions all chopped up, so all they go oh, those in are going there. in a different yeah. one. So mm -hmm. what, the, these it's all mushrooms, in there. So how, how long are these mushrooms going to cook then? Um, for about 20 minutes, basically, just to fuse all the flavours together. And I've got a whole bowl here. I've got two types. I've got the Chinese wood ear mushrooms. They just all go in whole like that. It's right. just to release their sort of earthy aroma. And, um, and then obviously we've also got the shiitake mushrooms as well. So it all goes in, basically. And so then, why have you got those mushrooms on there bubbling and those mushrooms on... Oh, no, I just want to show you what goes into the stock ingredients. Oh, so I see. basically that pot okay. is How basically this pot now is that's what? simmering away and it's cooked I down. See. And this okay. stock is going to taste lovely and sweet. Lovely. Yeah, now to this in here, I'm going to basically just plunge in the whole Romanesco. Oh, exciting. Basically, yes. So it all goes like in. Like a headdress. So, it, it cooks down <laughs> and it's just like what I'm gonna do is cook it for about what are you going to make though with what you brought back well I thought I'd do something creative with it um, it is like broccoli in in a way it's like a broccoli and a cauliflower in that sense so I thought I'd do something what, that Romanesco the one yeah that the Romanesco it's, it's really beautiful the patterns it's just like you know gorgeous natural patterns it's just amazing what nature can deliver um, so I'm gonna do Buddha's delight um, it's essentially a stir-fry and um, and you'll see it's it's, huh? it's simple but I hope you'll like it um, to start my dish stage one I've got here some stock and it's bubbling away and in in it it's got some Chinese mushrooms some Chinese leaf and spring onions I'm just gonna make another one here so basically what you do into hot water I've just got some simple veg stock powder right. bouillon, in that goes 
um, some star anise, which is really useful. It's um, really fragrant and really aromatic and used to make a lot of it. Three minutes to blanch the whole thing. And then I'll show you. You can come back later what I do with it. All right. How long, <laughs> by the way, how long was that stock? How long is it from there this, to that? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yes. Just you, infuse those flavours. Could you use... Um, just water instead of using the bouillon. Could you add some homemade vegetable stock or something Yes, you can like add, absolutely. If you've got homemade vegetable stock, you can add to mm -hmm. that. It'll taste even more intense. But this is quick, easy home cooking, you know. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do. have in your store cupboard. Lovely. <laughs> Welcome back to Market Kitchen Big Adventure, where Matt and Ching are showcasing some of the best produce from Kent in delectable dishes. Uh, Matt, you're doing a hair ragu. I How's am. it going? It's going very well, thank you. Lovely. And meanwhile, over here, we've got yeah. Buddha's Delight Buddha's with delight. a difference. If I can get the delight out of the pot. <laughs> the enormous Klingon head. Yeah, exactly. That's just been blanched. <laughs> um, that's been blanched in the stock. Um, it's got some Chinese leaf, some woodier mushrooms, um, some star anise and some